I'm Jo Paul and I'm Lindy author and welcome back to my channel. Today is the first day in a new weekly vlog that will go up at the end of March. Today is March 7th, it's a Sunday, it's very early in the morning which is why I'm talking quieter. I have kittens and I'm just about to start my writing for the day. I gave up sleeping about 2am so it's now about 3 um, and um, so it, I need to keep the noise down because there's people sleeping in the house and that's only fair. I wanted to start this vlog by simply saying that I've come to a decision about my second release of the year. I won't be releasing a second book this year. I will go into it more in detail when I have a moment to more talk freely, but for now, just simply, I can't do it. I just, I can't go through edits again this year. I just don't have the energy and the inclination and I know that that's letting down some readers. A second pang will come out but it won't come out until next year, probably about next October. So that gives me more time to work on things and that gives me more time to focus on revising and editing and just basically keeping myself afloat with the stuff that I have to do. Um, it's. I, I'm upset about it. I'm, I'm upset. I mean, I, I've wished and washed over which one and where I'm going to go. But now that I've made that decision, I do feel a lot of peace about it. So that's a good thing. Um, I plan to write a chapter today, basically because I'm up and I've got, I'm in the mood to write. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to go on with that shortly. But I've watched my YouTube queue. I have done my morning stuff. And I just have to write and then do edits. We are now two chapters from the end of edits for Lights Off. And the hope is that we'll finish in the next few days. And Mink is back up here with me. Um, and yeah, so just need to get through those last couple of days of edits. Um, or three days of edits I think it's going to be. Um, and then we are done with the developmental edits for Lights Off. Which has been a long time coming. And has kind of impacted my decision to not publish again this year. So, um, but yeah, I'll talk about that later. So for now, I will just let you in onto the vlog and, um, hello Torty. See, now Torty's up here. See, I'm just a climbing frame when it comes to these kittens. Hello kitten. Yes, it's just a climbing frame. I need to switch out my notice board because the lights off cover reveal will have happened by the time this video goes live. So I can put up the lights on book and the lights off cover on my notice board. So I'll show you that at some point as well, but it's probably not going to be today because like I said, it's really early in the morning. We've got people asleep in the other room and I don't want to wake them up. So yeah, kittens, seriously, what are you doing? Um, so I will get on with my work and I will try and check in later, but if not, I will speak to you all tomorrow. Good morning everybody, it is Monday the 8th of March. I didn't get much time to record much yesterday because as I said, it was really early in the morning. Hi Torslini. It was really early in the morning and I had um, people sleeping in the room behind me so I didn't want to make too much noise. So yesterday I managed to write a chapter, do my chapter of edits and got up to bed and I spent most of the day just in this haze of very tiredness and fatigue and stuff like that. So I didn't really get much done yesterday. I did my usual stuff but other than that I didn't really get much done. Hi Torty. I don't know whether you can hear her but she is purring her head off. But today I have a chapter to write, I have the last edit of the editing cycle to do and then I also have to go and get new glasses today, I had my eyes tested a few weeks ago and my prescription has gotten a lot worse so I need to do new glasses so I'm going to go pick those up today and then hopefully we'll go through the edits and I'll get to send lights off off to the line editor which is the next step and that step should be a lot easier. Um, and things should go smoothly from there. It's just before 5am. I've been up for a couple of hours. I'm normally up about 5am every morning, but this morning I was up at 3. So, you know, it's just one of those things. And I'm going to get on with some writing and I will take you along for that, just because why not? And then I need to get these clips off my camera because I didn't do anything with yesterday's and do some editing before I go to town to get my new glasses. And I will try and take you along with us to town, but I don't know. It depends on how awkward I feel carrying a camera around and all of that. So yeah, I will let you know. my 
my chapter. I have done the last lot of edits and I'm just waiting to go through them with Kim in when I get back from the Specsavers, I'm guessing. And yeah, that's it for the developmental edits and I don't really have any other work to do. What I am going to do is get the clips off the camera and do some editing, but I obviously can't film that because it's editing on the camera. So yeah, today has kind of been a bit of a quiet day for me. Um, once I've got my glasses and all the rest of it and we've gone through the edits, I then have to send it off to my line editor and that shouldn't take too long um, and go from there. And then it's just doing line edits this month and proof edits next month. I need to email my proofreader to let her know that I am expecting to send it to her on the 1st of April. Um, so that might be a good idea to clue her in, <laughs> otherwise she might not know to expect it. But I'm going to get on with the rest of my day. Like I said, I might take you with me to the opticians, but I'm not going to promise because I don't know whether I will feel confident <laughs> enough to take my camera with me and all of that. But we shall see. Um, yeah, the kittens are playing with a mouse. Not a real mouse, it's a toy mouse, but it rattles and they get very possessive of it. I don't think I've shown you pictures or anything of them, but they have this thing where they carry their toys in their mouths, and it's adorable. It, it's the most cute thing you have ever seen. They have a ball that I, they play with, and then occasionally they all carry it in their mouths and go up to someone and sort of drop it and burr up at them and be like, play with me. Torty did it to me once at 3 a.m. and she was very upset that I decided not to play with her at 3 a.m. Yeah, but that's kittens for you. So yeah, I'm gonna edit and um, get on with the rest of my day. Like I said, I might have more after this clip, but if not, I will see you tomorrow. Okay, it's Tuesday the 9th of March, and this is just my week. So um, I did editing yesterday and um, writing, so that I've done two hours and 30 minutes this week. But let me see how I'm doing this month. This month I'm at 7 hours, 42 minutes and 8 seconds. So the green is I wish I could stop you, the yellow is project isolation and the black is author tube because I've been editing this vlog and stuff like that. I will turn you around and talk to you a bit more. Hello. So yeah, like I just showed you, I've managed to do all my work this morning. I went to line edits, I've done those, that was really easy, it wasn't too much. Um, and um, so that's going to take the rest of the month, so that's good. I've read a chapter of I Wish I Could Stop You. I didn't do any time lapses because I'm, you can't tell from this clip, but I'm in my pyjamas because I need to have a shower and I just, I, I didn't want to do time lapses in my pyjamas. You know, I'm sure you can understand that. But yeah, life is going back to normal, or not back to normal, but back to a new normal. Kit is off to school again today for the first time in months. So um, yeah, that's good. I still need to change my background because it's got the Crime and Chronicles paperback there. And while I don't have the lights off paperbacks yet, I do have a lights on paperback. So at some point I will change that over, especially because I record a video tomorrow. So I don't want to have the wrong book in the background. Plus I can just down that this side, so down here, get my finger in here are postcards for my books and I have the lights off postcard so I can show you on this video even though it's before the cover of the I'm recording this I can show you because it doesn't go up until the end of the month and by that point the cover reveal will have happened so yeah I gotta put this on the notice board I've got to switch out the books let me just do that now That's the postcard then. And that's the book then. So there we go, that's the postcard up and that's the right book. Oh, the joys of being an author tuber and coming up to a new release. So this is going to be interesting. So yeah, that's a lot of fun. So yeah, basically today is going to be mostly a lazy day. It's just simply because I've done my work and I'm still coming down from the stress of developmental edits. And I just need to take some time for relaxing. So I'm going to shower at some point, I'm going to get back into bed with clean sheets and all of that fun stuff um, and then just take it easy because it's been a really, really rough four months and I really need to start seeing some self-care and stuff like that. So yeah, I will speak to you all tomorrow. <laughs> So 
hello it is uh i've got to think now wednesday the 10th of march and i have uh, the last clip was me doing my author tube video today i have a book i have a book i have 10 chapters to edit for um pang to see whether or not i'm ready to do that or not so i'm going to go through that but it's going to be a slow day i'm just waiting for my video to upload and then i'm done on that side of things i still have line edits to do of course but other than that things are going well and i'm just hoping that i will have a lazy day today because i'm still feeling a bit uh, but there we go so yeah um that's today and i will um speak to you all tomorrow hello good morning it is thursday the 11th i think yeah, it's the 11th, because um, tomorrow's the 12th. I am basically done for the day bar writing my chapter. I have watched my YouTube queue. I have captioned yesterday's video, so that's already for April. I have done my Instagram post. I have done a few other bits and pieces, but I wanted today, because I haven't really had a chance to talk to the camera properly since I started this, because either I'm doing something or other, or I'm doing this, or I'm doing that. And I have to get started on my chapter soon, but I also am waiting to make a phone call because I'm not very well at the moment and I need to call my doctor at exactly 8 o'clock, so I've got an alarm set. But I thought that I would go a little bit in detail why I'm choosing not to publish this year. Basically, I have been publishing two books a year for the past four or five years, and it's not usually a problem, and it's not that it's a problem now, it's just that because I'm, I write about four books a year, I revise all, all the way through the year, whether one project or not. I revise about two projects a year. And then I go through the professional editing cycle of two projects a year as well. And that involves monthly revisions. It involves beta readers and stuff like that. It involves going to my critique partners. It involves going through the developmental edit, which usually takes about three months. It involves going through line edits, which usually take about a month, and it involves going through proofreading, which again usually takes about a month. Um, and then as well as that, I need to be ready to release, so I have to do the cover reveal, I have to do the promo around that, I have to then build up the hype towards like pre-orders and swag and stuff like that. And while generally speaking, these things don't bother me, they don't. I, I'm usually, I've got a routine, I know what I'm doing, I know how to start marketing and all of the rest. I'm just very tired. Um, some of it is chronic illness related, some of it is just mental health related. Um, I've talked before about burnout, which I will link up in the cards. Um, and that was after Nano 2019, so I talked about it then, about how basically I pushed myself too far. And I've now got to the point where it's not burnout per se. I talked about it in my Life of Joe video, which I will link up in the cards. But um, I talked about how I'd set the goals to both revise Invisible and send second pounds to the de development uh, to the developmental editor. And then I mentioned that like I didn't know if those two were going to happen. I still don't. I know that the book isn't going to the developmental editor. I know that for sure. But I don't know what's happening with revising Invisible. Whether I will finish off with second pang and continue with my break and a lot of people have asked you know like why not just push the release back to when you know why not just start the release when you're next ready and there are two reasons for that one is that i just have a routine and i like to keep to that routine and the other is just that i feel like for me saying i'm taking this year long break actually helps me mentally it gives me time to unpack all the stuff to continue with my therapy to talk to people and to work things out and all the rest of it it just gives me time to relax i mentioned in that life of joe video that i might not draft um after i finish these two books i still have like this will go up at the end of march so i still have another month of writing before i reach the end and so far i'm doing okay with that if it became a problem i would stop drafting um but i don't know whether i will start drafting on may 1st as i usually would um or whether i will take a break from drafting completely but either way it's okay i've been someone who has always been very much an advocate for taking breaks when you need them and i mean that here as well so yeah that's one of the reasons why i pulled the release was just the fact that with the lockdown the fact that i've been very isolated both physically and mentally just going through this stuff 
um, and I needed the break I needed to say that hey it's okay you don't have to do any of this until next April so yeah you know I, I've talked to my friends I've talked to my therapist and we finally got to a point where we was like the stress that goes into a releases which you know I, I'm sure you're aware of if either you've released a book yourself especially if you're indie because you're doing so much of it yourself um, or whether you've released a book through a traditional publisher there is still some stress there there always is but for me I need to take that break and I need to take that time to recharge and to find myself back in a position where I feel like I can carry on moving forward it doesn't mean that I'm going to stop releasing, it just means the next time I release it will probably just be the one book in that year and then depending on how things go, depending on how my editing team is doing, depending on how I'm doing, it might be that I stick to one release a year or it might be that I go back to two. I think two is my sweet spot, I think I've done three releases in one year and that was very very stressful for a variety of reasons not all of them related to the fact that it was three releases and I don't want to be in that situation again so I'm just trying to find that happy medium because I have a lot of books that I've written and finished and haven't gone through revisions yet and I don't want to sort of like get to the point where I'm looking 10 years down the road and I, I have enough books to publish but I, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, it, it's it's a learning process. It's trying to work out where I'm going to stand and what I'm going to do and how I personally feel about the things going on. So, yeah, that's basically why I've chosen to pull the release this, for this year. Um, I will be releasing Lights Off. It is up for pre-order and you can pre-order it at the link below. Um, and i'm happy with the situation i mean as i've talked about in previous clips in this vlog i did feel quite a, like a sense of peace come over me once i realized that i made that decision i'm not someone who makes decisions easily you may not know this about me but i'm someone who will weigh up the pros and cons and flop this way and flop that way and then finally at a push will make a decision and i guess for me it was making that decision knowing that it affected my editors because obviously they rely on the work that I give them um, and I, it affected them if I didn't do releasing or anything else like that but it also got to the point where I needed to think about my mental health and I needed to be, for want of a better word, a bit selfish um, and so that's why I've done what I've done. I know readers want to know more about Jessie's story. I know that it's the first book in a, book, in a five book series. They are coming, unless something happens to me. They are coming. I just can't, as of yet, say when. So yeah, the books are written. I just have to revise them all and all the rest of it. So yeah, that's why I've decided to pull the release for Second Pang. But it's not a case of it will never be released you'll just have to wait a bit longer you just have to be a bit patient with me but yeah so i'm going to finish off my tea i can see a tortellini around my tripod right now and then i'm going to set you up for a time lapse while i do some writing of project isolation so yeah i probably will speak to you tomorrow of March oh yesterday I was not very well I ended up having to go to the hospital and I've got uh, some tests and stuff ahead of me I'm, I'm okay so that's the good thing um, I didn't have to stay overnight so that was good I'm just going through my YouTube queue now I've done my pills for the week um, I have a chapter to write today and then obviously it's the last day of the vlog so I'm trying to like I'm and I'll whether or not I should do another time lapse to see like show you my last day um, or whether I should like Hello kitten. 
people keep commenting on the fact that the kittens just, you know, climb and and I just keep talking. Yeah, it's kitten life. You get used to it. You do. Um, she's now gone off to explore somewhere else. So I was thinking about whether or not to do a time lapse or whether to um, leave it off here. I want to try and keep the video under 25 minutes just because I know the vlogs that get too long, they don't get watched all the way or anything else like that. But yeah, I'm going to see about doing a quick time lapse and then see where I stand. If I can include it, that's fine. If I don't, that's also fine. I have done my chapter, I've done my edits, I have nearly emptied my YouTube queue which I'm going to do while I edit the vlog and get it exported and uploaded and all of that ready to caption. So yeah, hey little mink. And here is mink. Yeah, you've got to have kittens in the, in the vlog, you have to have kittens. So yeah, basically that's my week, that's what I've been up to and um, I hope you enjoyed it. I will be doing another video later on in like the months about hustle culture because I did I did a poll on Twitter about it and it was an overwhelmingly yes please do this so I'm gonna do that I think in July sometime I just need to get my thoughts in order and all of that stuff I hope you had a good week I hope this coming week is nice and kind to you and all of that jazz so that's all I've got time for today if you want to support my channel you can comment like or subscribe I post new videos on Thursdays and sometimes I post them on Sundays too. You can find me all over social media and my books are available everywhere and don't forget to enter the Page Turner Awards which are open and from now until May 31st I will be judging the Young Writers Award and also don't forget to pre-order Lights Off and if you do pre-order don't forget to grab the swag all the links for which are listed below. Thanks for watching and remember to keep writing. Bye.